raised, born and raised in Africa? Okay, no. Pan-Africanism <laughs> believes no. in self-reliance. And so when we talk about Pan-Africanism, we're talking about a self-reliant movement of African people solving their own problems, which is no different than what other groups within the human family do. European Jews primarily work with European Jews. Arabs work with Arabs. These Indians primarily work amongst themselves. So if we look at the way in which most cultures operate, they operate with a degree of exclusivity. And as African people, we reserve the right to also be exclusive. So are you saying that uh, color first, then religion, nationality, nationality, national? nationality and then the rest not color because color is a superficial characteristic color is nothing more than a symbol of culture and history and biological connectivity so we would say african family first not all africans have an obvious african look most of us do you can generally tell who is and is not a direct descendant of the original inhabitants of Bao Bali culture. But not all of us look obviously or phenotypically African. We have Africans who can look European and look like other races because we are the mothers and fathers of all other people. It's not uncommon to see some of us look like other people. But yes, most of us are phenotypically African, but not all of us. So, so it's the DNA that makes us African. So it's African first and then the rest. But let me ask, in Amer this doesn't include black Americans who were born in this country. We're not a part of that stuff, right? Because we are of Americans. You are. But how? Uh, no, sir. But how is that? No, I, I mean, for me, for an example, with me, for an example, I was born in America, down in Alabama, and I'm 100% American, so I wouldn't be a part of this African stuff, right? No, that's totally incorrect. Pan-Africanism as a philosophy was actually born in the Western Hemisphere. Pan-Africanism came from the Americas. It came from the Caribbean and went to Africa. So believe it or not, ironically, uh, it was created by quote-unquote um, American Africans. And so when we talk about Pan-Africanism, as I said earlier, it, the definition, it includes all African people, wherever we may live. That's the entire purpose of the philosophy, is to make African people understand that regardless of where you may be, you're still African. There's European Jews all over the planet. But there's still European Jews. They but I'm not Irish. African, though. I don't, I don't feel like an African. I don't think like an African. I don't look like an African. Well, that's because of I, I am 100%. Disorder. I'm 100% American. If you choose to identify politically as an American... Not politically. Right. I am an American. Okay, well, allow me to make my statement. If you choose to psychologically and politically identify as an American, then so be it. But genetically and biologically, you may be African. No, I'm but not. Biological, biological, well, it's okay to be in denial. Most Africans are. You have to understand, we suffer from a collective psychosis. Is this it like, sounds like that you might be suffering from that yourself. Is this like that stuff that Louis Farrakhan and and uh, Jeremiah Wright Jr. Obama's preaching talk about this black, um, liber this black liberation? This uh, black, let me just ask, this black liberation stuff, that's what this is all about. Well, let me clarify. I respect Minister Farrakhan and Reverend Wright, but I'm not followers of either. Uh -huh. I think they've done some good things, but neither of them are Pan-African. Um, and I think to get a the most accurate representation of what they stand for, you would probably need to speak with one of Minister Farrakhan's ministers. He has several who are more than capable of answering those questions. I wouldn't want to speak for what he actually stands for. Um, I'm a Pan-Africanist. He's not. So, the, um, you know, although we both... So, anytime an individual or a group has a separatist agenda, they are practicing an ist or an ism, and um, they are not focused on the changes that are necessary for families to be safe, healthy, and happy.